Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Automation, the car company tycoon game, which I'm pretty sure is the subtitle for it. It's a game where you start your own car company. Um, the actual car company side of things, yeah, it's, uh, it's so-so, but the car designer is great. So uh, we're going to spend a lot of time in that. Uh, let's go into the campaign. We'll, we'll play the campaign, even though it's... It's a work in progress. The game has been in development for a very, 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 very long time. Um, but it's it's worth a go anyway. Uh, right, anyway, we've, we're going to set up our company name. And it's going to be... Actually, we're going to do it all in capitals. It's called Grunt. Because uh, that's what our cars have. Is they've got Grunt. It's a Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a good thing. Um, yeah, that's that's how we're going to start out. Uh, now, it takes place in a fictional, uh, fictional place. Uh, and uh, you'll see the world map in a bit. Uh, but uh, you've got four different, uh, five, I can count, uh, five countries to choose from to start with, and they all have slightly different requirements going on and slightly different uh, demands. So Gazmeo, which is where we're going to start out, is the easy one. Uh, it's uh, They don't really care about fuel economy, which is just as well. Okay, so here we are. We're in version four of the Light Campaign light campaign you see that they, 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 they know themselves that it's it's not as in-depth as you would uh, as you would hope for for a, for a tycoon game it is kind of in-depth in, in fact there's a lot of good stuff in here but it just doesn't quite tick all of the uh, the management -y, tycoon -y game kind of stuff that you'd want to do apart from the car design uh so we've got to start a new uh, a new car uh, and uh, we get yeah we're obviously obviously we're going to build it ourselves um, and we'll create from scratch now the first thing you need to do is who you're making a car for there are a lot of different car types that you can do it's 1946 uh, that I should spell this out from the get-go is that uh, that while different technologies only come in in uh, in later years so a light sport premium type car uh, only comes in in 1980. What isn't modelled, however, is inflation. So the price of a vehicle in 1946 and the price of a vehicle in, 19, tw in 2020, which is where the, the game ends, um, they, are, they are equivalent. So you could, you, you're not going to be charging you know, 200 quid for a car to start with and then 20,000 for the same car uh, 50 years later. No, it's, uh, it's the same pricing throughout. We're going to go with a nice family unit to start off with. Because uh, there's plenty of demand. So, I mean, you've got commuter vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But straightforward, all-round, practical family car. Massive market. This will fund us doing something. Or, or wait, we could go for a budget family car. A family car on the cheap. Interesting. Um, it's, very, it's very tempting. Uh, I think we'll go straight for the big market. Yeah, I want to create a family car, please. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be glorious. Uh, so first off, we're going to set the body year. Hold on, down here to uh, anything from the last five years. Uh, the body type. Well, it, actually, we'll leave all the body types on, and uh, and the engine position. I'm I'm quite happy with that. So we're looking for a regular sort of family car. Uh, I know which way I'm going. I know which way I'm going. I'm going for this one. Now, could go for the sporty looking wagon, but no, I'm going for the, uh, I'm going for this bad boy here. Uh, two rows of seats, it's glorious. Or, chuck the kids in the back, call it a family car, call it an MPV. Well, call it whatever you like, but no, let's not go that way. We're going to go with one of these. I like it. Uh, right, crack on. Right, here is our vehicle. Uh, it is a glorious beast. It hasn't got much attached to it yet, but it, it surely will have in, uh, in due time. Uh, we'll make the panels out of steel. Uh, now, with each of these, you're going to get, you know, that little bar chart showing what the impact is in terms of, of different uh, uh, the different categories. Um, the main one to pay attention to, though, is engineering time. Uh, the more engineering time you, uh, you employ, the longer it's going to take you to do the thing. There you go. Because making cars, it's, you know, it's a time-intensive kind of purposes. Time intense. I'll just move on. I think I'm probably better. Uh, and then at the bottom, you've got familiarity. Now, obviously, we're, we're coming at it from the uh, from the, the dawn of time. So we have no familiarity with anything at all. Not a sausage. Uh, as we do more working with either, you know, aluminium or, or steel panels, uh, we'll, uh, we'll become more familiar with working with them. 
Now this will require me to build steel presses in the factory. We do like steel though. Yeah, but the, the, the tooling costs are quite high. Yeah, but uh, no, no, we save on material costs. Let's go steel, let's get good at it. Uh, then we've got a ladder or space frame as far as chassis is concerned. We'll go with a ladder. I'm going to go with everything that is easy uh, from the get-go. We'll go with regular steel rather than galvanized. Uh, keep the engine front. Yeah. And then we're into suspension. And uh, I want to keep this inexpensive. So we're going to go with uh, with leaf springs rather than uh, rather than a wishbone. Uh, you know, wishbone takes, you know, it takes time to get good at those. I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, compactitude versus... I think we're looking for comfort and a little bit of drivability. So we'll go with coils on the front. Uh, we'll take, I'll probably take leaves on the back. Yeah, there you go. And we'll, we'll dump the quality ever so slightly on this one because ultimately that's not why you buy a family car. No, you, you buy it for other reasons. Because it's cheap. That's why. Yeah. Okay, right. Now we now need to, uh, to create an engine for it. We're not done on the car, but we're we're working on a... You'll see. It's a process, people. Uh, right, so we need the, the, the engine type uh, to get us started. And uh, this is going to be the, uh, the, the lethargy. Uh, leth. Learn to spell. Leth. Yes. Arge. Yes. G. Right. And uh, this is going to be the lethargy uh, VX1. Yeah. What does the V and the X stand for? I have no idea. But it sounds good though, doesn't it? Yeah, right, okay. Um and that's that's purely because, you know, I've got a realistic expectation of how good this engine's gonna be. Uh now we've got uh, we could go for a you know, we could go for V's, we can go for a boxer type engine, but no, we're gonna go for inline. Let's uh, let's keep it simple. Three cylinder, it's nineteen forty six. I don't think people have got any expectation of anything more than that. Uh, no, uh, is, yeah, should we go for a four-cylinder? Let's go for a four-cylinder. Uh, and it's made out of cast iron. There it is, wibbling away, doing doing that thing that you expect engines to do. Uh, you've then got your 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 boring, uh, which which has an impact on uh, on what it says there. Uh, larger bore will give me better valve flow. Yeah, it will. Great. But a smaller bore though will actually do something that I understand, which is it lowers the weight. And it means it's lower octane too. Good, because you don't want too much octane going on. Oh, I see. That's about how big it is. Right. It could have said that, but it did. And I'm, I'm wiggling this. So, as you can see, as I, as I wiggle my way through this, uh, it impacts weight quite considerably. And, uh, oh no, show the tool tip again. That was handy. Go on, go on. Show me the, show me the thing again. There, there it is. Look. Yeah, yeah. See? And then uh, there's material cost associated as well, because obviously we're using more material. I'm going to go for just a just a little up there. Right, and then you've got what then? The, the stroke length. Okay. So that, that affects capacity. It does. I'm not entirely sure how a longer stroke is going to get you more passengers on board, but it does. Uh, and uh, But a shorter stroke will get me more reliability at higher revs per minute. Okay. Well, what's this, uh, what's this doing to, to life? Ah, now this also has an impact on the uh, on the boring as well. But let's let's sling it there and see what happens. Heads and valves, yeah, it needs some. It does. Apparently, we've got push rod familiarity already, uh, but uh, a direct acting OHC, yeah, it's one of my favourites. Um, that's got uh, lower engineering time. We'll go with push rods because I'm familiar with them. We'll have a couple of them made out of iron and uh, VVL. No, that can do one. Right. Moving on, what else? What's the crank made out of? Well, I've got a lot of choice at the moment, so it's going to be cast iron. The con rods, we've got to choose the choice of cast iron or heavy duty. Now, we don't need torque. We, don't, we, want, a, we want a combination of a, a bit of torque and a bit of RPM. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's it. Because we need speed. Some speed, not too much, though. Uh, and as for pistons, yeah, again, don't need torque. So that's good. The variant capacity, yeah, crank it. Yeah, give it a, give it the works, and we'll we'll up the tempo on the quality ever so slightly. Uh, keep it around the 13, 14 mark would be great. Uh, yeah, well, okay, I'll, I'll go plus two. A good engine, you see, it's worth it's worth having a good engine. Now compression ratios. Uh, the more the higher you go, more power you get, better fuel economy possibly. 
uh, and better fuel efficiency. Well, well, let's up the tempo. Now, it's probably going to let me know in a minute that I've, I've gone too far with that, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, and then the cam profile. Yeah, that's, that's those sideways shots that you put on Instagram. Yeah, I know, it's a weak joke, but I thought I'd make it anyway. All right, let's leave that there. Let's head, head towards it being ever so slightly sporty. Uh, VVT, no, I'm not interested. No, 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 not into that. We'll up the quality ever so slightly. And moving on. Oh, we've also got this, which is the uh, engine base base ET factor. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's important. Um, yeah, enable rear wheel drive engine base size arrows. Well, yeah, or four by four. Yeah, we don't we don't need that. I don't. To be honest, I'm in a learning curve. We're going to figure it out, right? It's naturally aspirated. We don't have turbos available to us at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, and then carb choices. We've got uh, a regular carb system. Uh, we could go with the Eco Carb. They don't give a monkeys about fuel efficiency, though. They don't, do they? No. And that's not that's having little bearing on uh, on anything. So we'll go with a, a single barrel, uh, single carb. Yeah. Intake. Ooh. Let's go for. Yeah, no, no, no. Performance. That way, a little bit less weight, despite the fact that it's negligible compared to everything else that we're slapping on. Uh, we'll go with regular leaded fuel. And uh, let's... I don't care about fuel economy. Let's pump this right up. It's going to tell me in a minute that I shouldn't. Uh, and then the ignition timing, we will uh, we'll slow that down ever so slightly. I'm on peak RPM. Let's get that to about 4,000 revs. It's, going to it's definitely going to tell me I can't do that. Now, your, your RPM limit, unless you're, you're working with a sports car or something, you want to keep that down a bit. Otherwise, it's just not going to not gonna do anything. Uh, let's go for a little less quality on the fuel system. Yeah. I'm just, I'm gently nudging it uh, in the main, and we'll see how we go. Headers, right, cast iron, yeah, or these, or that, or that, no, no, just keep it, keep it basic. No valves, exhaust diameter. Uh, we'll give it a slightly beefier exhaust, although it's going to have a negligible effect for an engine like this one. Uh, no mufflers, no, don't need any of that at all. Right, what have we got? Uh, okay, we've got, we've got our red warning flags. It, uh, it can't run. Because the AFR is too rich, we've got to run a leaner fuel mixture. Yeah, I had a feeling that would be the case. Uh, all right, so we keep going until that stops flashing. All right, keep going till that stops flashing. Keep going until that stops. What have I broken now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got, we've got knocking, we've got valve float. There's all, all kinds of business going on there. All right, okay. Rock this back up to about there. And then what's our warnings? Lower, lower the compression. All right, okay. Yeah, all right. That's, uh, that's back here. Is it? But it's back there. It's over here. It's somewhere. There you go. Rock that back to about a normal. How are you feeling? Uh, lower the compression and ignition timing. Uh, that lives somewhere else. Over here, maybe? maybe is it ignition timing? Yeah, there we go. All right. Drop that back a bit as well. The power peaks aren't in a good place. Yeah, hey, that's okay. It'll be fine. Uh, try to reduce the RPM limit. Okay, all right. I'll do that. Well, if... The, if Yeah, there we go. Look, if peak power is around here, then uh, there's no sense in having a higher RPM limit. Uh, the engine's knocking. Yeah, reducing engine performance. Uh, lower the compression or the ignition timing. All right, well, I don't really want to lower the... Uh, no, okay. I'll lower the ignition timing a little further until we... We did something... We want to get... The knocking, here we go, see, look, that, there, that, right, yeah. What's the other thing I could do to make that better? Oh, the engine suffers from valve float. Ah, reducing its reliability. Consider reducing the RPM limit. The RPM limit's low enough already. Uh, let's go with uh, lowering compression, which is, uh, which is back, forward. Keep going, keep going into this one, compression, there you go. You want less compression still. We want some power, you know. Anyway, look, that's the knocking uh, taken care of. Uh, and then we want to re we want to knock a bit of the uh, the RPM limit out. Yeah, okay. All right, fine. Now, when you get to this, you kind of go, yeah, I've, obviously I want it to work. But at the same time, uh, I, I, you, you kind of go like, 
You're just making me make the engine you want me to make, aren't you? Still, the Lethargy is our first ever engine, and it doesn't need to be absolutely superb. It only needs to be moderately superb. That's that's pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, we've got no warnings. Smashing. That's all dealt with. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can paint, paint the engine. Now, this is, you know, now, now we're in my wheelhouse, uh, figuratively speaking. Uh, we'll put on a bit of kind of orange. We'll saturate that up nicely and then uh, make it vivid. Oh, it's... Uh, no. It's not, is it? It's not. No, you're right. Okay, just how about... Come on, tweak with this until you find something that you feel good about. I sort of feel good about that. But it's just not as... It's not as popped as I would like. That'll do. Uh, valve cover, do we want to paint that? Yeah, that's going to be black. Uh, we'll just do that in paint. Uh, knock it down, that's it, that's good. Yep. Uh, what about the uh, valve cover trim? Oh, some kind of chrome would be good, thank you. Bit of chrome on here, yeah, that's, yeah, so that's probably done it, yeah. What about the bolts? No, they can be default. The intake manifold, we'll try and make that the same grotty orange that I've got on the, on the main job. Yeah, it's, that's not quite the same, is it? No, it's also glossy. We don't want it glossy, just paint. That's that's pretty glossy. Yeah, well, we don't need any flaky paint on there or shiny paint. It can just be, you know, matte-ish for a gloss paint. Yeah, you know where I'm going. There you go, that's more or less right. Splendid. I mean, this is the last time we're going to see the engine block, so, so there it is. Now, you've got two valve cover designs. You've got basic. Yeah, you've got classic. We'll go with classic because uh, I'm a classic kind of an individual. Uh, so there we go. Right, well, let's uh, let's test the engine out. Uh, let's uh, just thrash it a bit. Give us some noise. There you go. Two and a half thousand cc, uh, two valve, two valve uh, in line four. That's a thing. Uh, and then down here it tells you stuff. So max RPM is 4,500. Uh, performance index is 54. Good. Uh, how's it doing the call? No. How's its cooling? 92. Um, uh, smoothness. It has some. And the throttle response is there. Uh, the noise is 72. Uh, reliability. Here's the thing with the numbers, right? It's, it's all very well telling me the numbers. But in the tool tip, it, it would be worth saying higher is better or uh, the less the better or this is a percentage or any of these things because i don't understand fuel economy of 7.9 percent what a yeah now this is the engine in isolation so you're not going to know whether it's any good in a in the context of a car until you put it in one anyway the material costs 593 bucks okay the man hours it's going to take 17 hours to put one engine together uh, and that's 56.3 units of engineering time. Yeah, it is. Okay, right, next. Okay, so we've chosen our engine. Here we're, we're back at the car. I can now uh, monkey with the uh, with the body stylings a little, which I believe you can just grab. There we go, enable morphing. We can, uh, we can you know, just tweak everything ever so slightly. Uh, now, I need this. What do I need this to do? I need it to have some bigger fins out the back. Don't get carried away. We're only talking about bigger fins. Oh, yeah, there you go. Give it a bigger boot. Nice. Okay, what about this? What's going on with this? I don't know. We could flare the wheel arches a little bit. You just did. Yeah, I could flare them a little bit more. There you are. That's, that's tasteful. Yeah. Uh, if I could bring the... Can I bring the height of this back bit down a little bit? Not really. Uh, the, and the good thing about this is it doesn't allow you to, you know, create a total mutant. Uh, it just allows you to, you know, make a make a gentle change here or there to uh, uh, to to come up with a car that you like the looks of. Do we want to give them a nice big entrance into the back seats? I think we probably do. Yeah. Well, how does this affect the car, you say? Oh, in important ways. Let's give the front wheel arch just a little bit of a, you know, give it some hips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm feeling that. Uh, I'd like quite like to lower the profile of those a little bit. Bring the whole thing down a bit. 
that's aerodynamics yeah although it's got a bit of a roman nose now let's can we uh, just no 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 all right look stop mucking with it you've got it moving on now then we set the standard car color at this point and uh, you could do all colors you can just do the bumpers you can put the bonnet you can do the primary uh, you can do the secondary we're just going to go primary uh, and Ooh, what's a tasteful family car color? I like this, this teal. Oh, look at it. Uh, no flake, thank you. Or just moderately. Oh, oh, look at that. That's that's super. Um, now, obviously, that's. I mean, that's just the uh, that's the top deck. Uh, we'll uh, we'll change the change change the bottom deck in a moment. Uh, there we go. Now that's going to need to be darker than uh, than what we just went with. So we've got uh, we've got our teal here, yeah. Uh, if we went darker teal, see that's quite tasteful. But I I say it's too subtle. I think you want to go with something like that. People are going to be falling over themselves to drive this, falling over themselves. I tell you, uh, right? And then we're going to uh, we're going to want the bumpers, uh, yeah. Uh, well, red I don't think is going to be the uh, the the right paint clone of. Uh, that please yeah yeah I've not used that button before I had no idea what it was going to do I'll tell you what it did not what I wanted a uh, bit of this yeah that's a, that's sturdy less flake stop stop flaking at me and then the bonnet as well which we're going to do in green because otherwise it will look a little bit sorry a big pun teal because uh, otherwise it will look I mean we're not making it out of carbon fiber there's no need to be you know excessive about it uh, just uh, sort by name paint clone yeah use that there you go right oh hey i think that looks quite smart and if you disagree well you're wrong we can then get into trim uh, so we can do the uh, the panel the panel trim here and i think we'll uh, we'll go with that yep As, uh, this is a proper hood ride we're putting together here uh, yeah, that's I like that. What about a window trim? Just you just did window trim. In fact, you just did all trim panels. We're good here. Moving on. Now we get to put stuff on the car. Yeah, yeah. This is this is what we're talking about. Uh, now, what do we want out of this? I need I need some headlights that say 1940 some odd. There's not a lot of choice in the the old round. There we go. Basic round headlights. That'll do nicely. So these, this, this is this is a nice system. We'll have a point at the ground because we don't want to dazzle other drivers, right? So that's that's in there, and we'll we'll just we'll beef them up ever so slightly, because obviously in making them bespoke, no, 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 beef them up ever so. That's that's better, is it? I think you're there. Yeah, I think I want to give them a little bit more, uh, a bit more profile though. Like that, yes, like that, more profile. See, I mean, it's already an imposing. I mean, doesn't it? Doesn't it just cut a cut of? It does, right? Then we'll put the tail lights in. Uh, again, we'll keep it simple on these. Uh, I did nice round head uh, tail lights going on. Uh, now it doesn't limit you for stuff that is uh, that is authentic to the era, so you can be completely anachronistic in terms of putting modern headlights and stuff. And you know what? Those fins would work jolly well if i came up with some kind of strip yeah one of those yeah no, one, of, one of those right and then we'll do it like that and then we'll rotate it to be uh vertical oh this could look absolutely tasteful um yeah right there you go no wait 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 come back come back right i wanted to move you move no you're you're scaling we now want transition, although, I mean, in itself, that looks pretty cool. Uh, you click on the yellow one and then move it. Yeah. Do it, just sit where I'll... Come on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look belting. If you do this, it's going to be worth your while, son. Uh, let's try just moving it that way. Go, 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 sit. All right, let's take it there. How's that? Where are we now? You're on the outside. That doesn't really help you. No, it doesn't. Uh, keep coming, keep coming. That's good. That's good. Gently does it. There you go. Right now, where are we now? Click away. Close, but we're not there. 
All right, OK. We're going to get there. It's going to be worth it. Uh, move up a bit. Oh, yeah. Right, now bring around. Come on. Don't start doing the, the hokey cokey. Well, that's it. Yes. There. Right, you want a bit more rotation. You've got it. Just a little bit that way. That looks good. It's not. No, you've gone too far. A little bit this way. A little bit that way. There you go. That's got it. That's a tail light combo uh, for the ages. That is. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's wicked. Um, all right, good. Did I, I. I ended up putting some more tail lights on there. No, I don't want those. No, get rid of them. Thank you. Uh, right, moving on. Indicators. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm taking you through all of this, you know, because this is this is the delight. This is the moment. This is where it all, where everything starts to make sense. Uh, basics, uh, those I like. All right. Some kind of body color indicator kind of deal. Uh, we'll slap those down the bottom because, oh, no, no, maybe we put them on here. Like that. Uh, wait. Yeah. No, that's unconventional. People will go miles and go, oh, I like that. I'm going to buy two of these. There you go. What do we think? I think it needs more. I think it needs more. Uh, I think we'll slap a, a second pair just below the uh, bright lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've nailed it. I, I have, haven't I? Um, okay, right. And then we're going to need some up front. Maybe some side repeaters. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. Uh, we'll go like... Straight below the straight below the main beams. Yeah, they're not very big, are they? No, you're not going to give much, people much of a clue as to, to what you're doing. And given that you're you're indicating your intentions, uh, let's uh, let's up the scale of those a little bit. That's uh, well, I think it's rather spoiled the profile of the front there. Let's bring them in. And, uh, yeah, okay, it's fine. No, it'll be all right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. Uh, and then I just want a couple of side repeaters. Because, you know, they feel they feel authentic to me. I don't know what these are all about. But uh, but they can sit on the side and just sit there looking looking magical. Sit them on your, on your flary wheel arch. I don't know if the flary wheel arch is going to stand for it. Uh, there you go. Put, a, put, them on a, put them on the schnoz. It will look quite cool. Yeah, I'm less certain about this bendy nose business you've got going on now. But hey, moving on. Uh, right, we need a we need a radiator grill up the front, and this is really going to set a, a precedent for uh, for what all of our grills look like in the future. Let's uh, let's try this one because if I get this right, it could look like an angry face. Uh, right. Oh yeah, no, it's this is a radiator grill that is clearly showing its disapproval of what you're up to. Uh, let's uh, let's do it there, yeah, and then uh, bring it down a little bit, yeah, maybe a bit, a bit wider, yeah. How's that look? Oh yeah, this is a hacked off motor. It's going. Oh, I don't like you or anything you stand for. Yep. Okay, that's good. Uh, do we want any vents? No, I don't need it. Well, what about the uh, a scoop? Well, look, we could do. I mean, I'll show you it just for the sake of showing you. I mean, look, we could put a, a hood scoop on there. Uh, raise up the profile, uh, do it like that, and you can pretend you're driving a V8 interceptor or something. I mean, look at it. I mean, look. I mean, that just looks stupid. Save that for the sport edition. Gotcha. Okay, right. So we're done with that. Uh, window or sunroof? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what. What are these? If I do that and I put it here, it puts a flipping fan in the window. Yeah, I think that's... No, I, I don't think we need that. Uh, do we want any spoilers or other uh, aerodynamic what's-its? Nah, no, we don't. We need a fuel cap. Uh, okay, we'll put this driver's side. Uh, we'll go with we'll go with a body tone uh, fuel cap going on that. No, this, please. There you go. I always put a fan in, in place of the fuel cap. Yeah, that's dreadful. Now, you want to be able to fill up your fuel cap readily, so, uh, so we'll do that. Oh, hold on. We seem to have picked up the fan anyway. Let's let's get shot of that. There you go. Nice wide fuel entryway. So that's what we all want. And uh, where are we? Fuel cap. Yeah. Door handles. Uh, classic, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Just just like that. And that'll be good. Yeah. And then another pair for the back doors. 
Oh, no, no, you got to cancel the front doors first and then go on to the back doors. Yeah. There you go. Start, see, look, it's starting to look like a car now. I mean, it looked quite a lot like a car beforehand. Let's put some mirrors on. Oh, yeah, we do like a bulletin mirror, but uh, I don't think, I mean, look, you got those. I think these, basics. Uh, and uh, I, honestly, I don't want them body coloured. I'd quite like them in chrome. Uh, I don't want to clone the paint. Or do I? Actually, I might. I might go with that. There you go. Try that. Yeah. All right. Grab the grab the chap. Now it does this. If you try and attach your 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 mirrors while you're on the wrong side of the car, the mirrors are facing the wrong way. So you rock it around the other sides, and uh, you 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 stick them where you want them. There you go. I want them about there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, ovals tasteful. Is it? It is now, because I just declared it so. Let's uh, make it oval, and then we'll slide it up this way a little bit further there, like that. Yeah, yes, yes, yep, nailed it. That's sublime. And then finally, you get some, uh, some body moulding in this section here, which is, it's nice for just adding a little bit of extra interest, you know. Uh, I want uh, this, I think. Uh, right, and then I'm going to put a bit of that, right, just just on here, right, like this. Bear with me. All right, we'll rotate those around this way, like that. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, this is to add a little bit of extra sporty uh, prestige to what we're doing. Uh, we'll elongate them. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's sweet as a nut. Uh, and then we'll 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 just slide it on back. Oh oh, we're in we're we're in town. Yeah, look at that. You see, that's flipping bonanza. I mean, what what do they do? Well, that's that's all the aerodynamics this car needs. Uh, it's I mean that's going to make it. Let's put an aerial on it. Are you giving them a radio? Haven't decided yet, but uh, we're going to give them an aerial anyway to make them think that they're part of the future. Uh, where do you want it? I'm going to put it on top of the fin. I think you'll be lucky. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. We could start there and then try and rotate it into position. No, I don't think it. No, 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 no. There will be a top here somewhere. And, uh, and we'll make it work based on that. Uh, wait. No. Wait. Anywhere. Just. All right. Try it there. All right. Okay. Yeah. And now what? I don't know, pray. I mean, rotation's not going to do anything for us here. Uh, although, if you do that and then grab the red arrow and just drag it this way a little bit. Oh, no. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Hold on. What's that look like? Uh, hold on. Let me have a look. Um, Dreadful. Yeah. I mean, we've got... You have to have some standards, man. All right. Okay. I'll put it somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to spoil my beautiful line. I could put it right in the middle of the... of the, uh, the No. You could put it there. Put it here. Put it... You can put it anywhere. All right, I'm going to put it there. All right. Yeah, that feels authentic. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, next. Number plate. Where's that going to sit? Ooh. In a, in a number plate kind of a place. Although, I like to put the bumpers on before I put the, uh, the number plate on. Where does the bumpers live? You know, bumper bars. Uh... Some kind of solid chrome kind of an effect here would be uh, would be super. Uh, we'll just go we'll just go straight forward. Uh, yeah, it's got a bit of a it's got a bit of a profile to it. Yeah, it does have a bit of a chinny kind of a. You're on the wrong whatnot. Okay, switch over. Elongate. Ah, that's good. Yeah, see that's going to save it from all kinds of woe. Uh, should woe ever come its direction, we'll use exactly the same model on the back. Like that. Uh, make it longer. To about there. And see, I mean, obviously your two lozenges here are going to do the main contact point. But then then you'll hit your chromium bumper and everything will be amazing. Uh, and then we're into uh, into badging. Now, I've got, a, I've got a motif there that I'm planning to use. Uh, where are we? I want this yeah okay and then we want uh that the g for grunt and it's just gonna it's gonna live there 
Right, that's how you know it's a that's how you know it's a grunt mobile. Uh, right. Yeah, a bit like this, a bit like that. Right. Kind of go, hey, nice G car, and you kind of go, yeah, it is. Uh, right. As, yeah, just, just no, nope, no, nope, you just and wait for it uh, and oh, flipping whatever. It's only the badge. Well, how does that look? Ropey. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, right, last section, into the wheels. Uh, we'll keep the standard cast. We're trying to save money where possible. Uh, we don't want to add extra styling unless it's necessary to do so. Uh, the exhaust tip, well, we ought to have one. Otherwise, we're pumping it inside where the kiddies are, and, and that's not going to go so well. Uh, we'll stick that there. We'll make it a little bit a little bit more uh, a little bit more beefy. And then we'll we'll give it some, some outward stick like that. Yeah? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Or you could catch yourself on that, and you probably will. I, I might, I might bring that in for safety purposes. There you go, just a little bit, like that. Safety purposes accomplished. You can see the bumper through it. That's just a rendering issue. It's a artist's impression. Then you've got miscellaneous features. We're not going to muck around with that. Tow bars doesn't need one. Moving on. Oh, I could have set the the fixture year. Ah, it's okay. I'm I'm happy with it. Right, what type drive type have we got? Is it a longitudinal rear wheel drive? Is it four wheel drive? I'd rather it was front wheel drive, I'll be honest, because engine bay, front wheels. Huh? Just saying. That would appear to be the way to go. Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll go rear wheel drive. It's a manual. Uh, we'll, uh, let's have a look. Uh, production engineering time is what I'm what I'm concerned about here. We want more ratios, ideally. I think we're going to go for a three-speed. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a three-speed. We'll try and crank the top speed up just ever so slightly. Like that, 143. What does that leave us? That's about, or oh, 85-ish? Maybe 80? That'll do. Right. Lower gear ratios. Uh, no. Uh, let's let's make top gear the one with the big swoop uh let's have a look up to 42 kilometers per hour in gear one yeah yeah okay no i'm happy with that uh differentials will keep them uh ooh, i don't know no low engineering time that's what we want what do you got uh the front tires are too narrow i'm coming on to tires we'll be there uh what about quality of all of this stuff leave it standard next uh, tires, cross ply tires, and we'll make those a medium compound, please. And you're happy with everything. I'm happy with everything. We're all happy with everything. Let's leave it alone. All right. Next, drum brakes. They're reliable. Yeah, it's the only ones I've got available. Right. You don't need me to do anything to those, so I'll leave them alone. Uh, we've got no under tray to work about. No aerodynamics. That's good, too. Uh, now, seats. Two in the front, three in the back. Let's put three in the front. Yep, three and three. Uh, we'll go with a standard package interior. Uh, we'll have a, a premium AM radio. Steady. I don't really want to put an AM radio in there. So don't put one in there. I, I'd quite like one, though. It's six production units. The engineering time of 13. Come on, man. All right, yeah, okay. We want to knock these out like flipping Billio. Uh, power steering, no, no, no. Safety, yeah, we'll give it some safety. People like that. There we go. So, uh, what's this uh, yellow curve here? Uh, that's your uh, oversteer. So, at 60 kilometers an hour, you get a little bit of savage oversteer going on. Okay. Are we happy with that? Oh, it's acceptable. Hold on, what we got? It's got strong oversteer. Uh, try increasing rear grip. Okay, I'll uh, I'll go down and do that now. Uh, tires, maybe. Yeah, we could uh, we could increase the uh, the thrust on the. No, you can't. Hold on, what have we got now? Uh, front brake braking force. Don't care about a braking force. No, no, that's fine. It terminally oversteers. Good, good. That's what we want. We want extra grip at the back. What do you want from me here? I, I, I've I've only got a certain number of tools I can play with. Uh, it's not my fault that uh, that technology hasn't caught up with my vision for what's brilliant. Uh, can we do anything about the oversteer from here? No, because I can't go any. Well, we could we could decrease the width of the front tires. 
Yeah, that'll give us understeer. Right, okay, I like it. So there's me, there's me steering curve. Wait for it. Yeah. Then bad. Okay. And then back. Okay, one way we get a large amount of understeer kick in. Are you happy with that? Yeah, not complaining about it. Uh, the other way, you get a savage amount of oversteer going on. I think we'd, I think we'd rather have understeer, to be honest. Right, okay, here's my drivability, a score of 20. Yeah. Now then, this this here is the, uh, is the grading of the car compared to the market. So, uh, family, we've only got 45.9% uh, rating there out of 100, right? Over 100, good things. Uh, below 100, bad things. Um, uh, and then it's that's your your price, uh, your 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 price. Um, uh, duh, 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 duh. Hold on, I'll have the word any second. Uh, competitiveness. How competitive your vehicle is going to be for price? Now I'm losing out on a bunch of points, but for not having enough safety or comfort. I could crank those up. That said, the family utility budget vehicle, ah. Uh, 203 out of 100 this is gonna this is gonna do it this is a family utility budget that's our new target yes we could go passenger fleet or something like that nah. or we could go family utility nah, 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 nah. no this is a family utility budget vehicle and uh i love it okay good yeah i'm happy with this oh yeah all right, trim, trim statistics. Yeah, all of this. No, no, keep moving on. Keep moving on. Keep moving on. Downforce. It is. Uh, understeer is horrendous. Oh, no. Actually, the understeer only kicks in once you're doing over 120 kilometers an hour. Uh, now, what's that in uh, in old money? That's about 75. Uh, so if you're going over 75 miles an hour, you're going to die in a fireball because my safety ratings aren't all of that. Yeah, no, yeah, we'll be, we'll be golden. Yeah, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm, I'm accepting it. Here we go. Uh, the Model 1. No, 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 it needs a better name than that. It's not the Model 1. Uh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be the Rancorous. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the Rancorous. And it is, what did we say it was? It was a family um, uh, utility. I don't, oh, I mean, in that case, this is the... Uh, the, the rancory rancorous adventure yes um uh gl is it what does those words sta stand for good luck uh right okay yeah there we are so there we go so we look at the markets there's some appeal here in places this one though although saying that our price competitiveness is bad yeah we possibly ought to target the uh, the family utility not the budget version because it's not budget uh yeah i will sell some i'm sure yeah there you go 50 percent price comparison market yeah uh, let's look at the detail stats handling yeah minus 23.4 that's good it's not uh the, the drive training performance our torque curve is absolutely banging uh drivability of 20 sportiness not so much comfort nothing uh, prestige a bit safety some good practicality quite a lot utility eh, off-road don't and fuel economy could be maybe that's kilometers to the gallon or kilometers to the liter no miles to the gallon but everything else is in kilometers it's just 29.7 of whatever it is uh suspension and wheels i actually win the game here look at all of this my suspension's absolutely belting Groovy. So this is the test track, and uh, it's a, uh, you know, it's it is what it is. We'll we'll set it in motion. There we go. There it goes. Here's our little car. It's just it's an artist's impression of a little car, and we'll get to see uh, here's our speed that we're doing. Right. Uh, here's our our G forces curve. If we up the where's the up tempo button gone? There it is. Right. We'll do it at triple speed. We don't want to be here all day. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles per hour. Okay, that's the only conversion point you need to be aware of. You can kind of figure everything else out in your head. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah. Cornering's absolutely wicked. Right, here's, here's where we get the top speed test. The slingshot is a very fast corner. You can go around that top speed. Here we go. 143. 
which is our yeah that's our total thrash top speed uh, hitting the red line needle there uh, we've then got something very exciting happens at kill rob chicane there you go we got around that i don't know if we got around it well or not but we got around it uh around the pom sickle to adam's apex uh and then into the next thing and so forth we'll obviously complete this so that we can compare uh when we do a, a facelift or a, or a secondary model on the car and that's all good and we're around a circuit in three minutes and 17 seconds is it any good probably is good description i can put in a, a full description there there you go the uh, rancorous adventure gl is the latest car technology uh, aimed at drivers uh, without the ability to discern the qu a quality purchase when confronted by a salesman who will not shut up until they sign on the dotted line looks awesome drives like a pig uh, and I, I you know i think that's a that's a fair assessment looks awesome does drive like a pig it's got an aerial no radio though but that's that's the that's the thing it's it's uh, it's radio ready. That's, oh, I, I need that. I need to put that in the description. Uh, hold on, yeah. Uh, radio ready. There you go. Just just add radio. Good. Yeah. No, I thought that through. Uh, right. So we've gone with the family utility. It's a shame because we really do rinse it in terms of quality on a family utility budget. But no one's going to buy it because it's supposed to be budget. Um, the gear, the short gearing, is reducing the car's top speed. I, to be honest, given the understeer that we get at top speed, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, I agree. Um, good. Right. Yeah. No, we're here. Right. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. In the next episode, we'll see this in motion, and I'll put it into sale. And then we will know for sure whether what we've got is a hit or it's going to drive us to bankruptcy. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe if you've not done so already, because that way you can keep up on the progress of these kinds of things. And that's what we all want, deep down. Cheerio. Now, I quite enjoy this. Now, the, the, the act of actually putting a car together is fantastically good fun. Fantastically good fun. And uh, and we'll, we'll actually take it for a drive next time around in, in the Beam MNG, uh, which is uh, it's a completely separate game, but the devs have spoken to each other, and the, ga the cars you create in this, you can take into Beam and, and drive them around. It's wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, so you'll get to see it in action next time. Um, and then we'll do some of the managey managey type stuff. But my aim is to do uh, one episode, build it, next episode, uh, see it in action, and do some managey managey type stuff. And we'll see how we see how we get on. But I'm going to stick with this one for a little while. And uh, and uh, I, I recommend you stick around, because it's going in a direction you may not see coming. Mm.